Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Um, some of you know me as Jenna. Anyway, uh, just wanted to get with you guys and uh, tell you thanks for um, watching my videos um, and the videos that I upload um, as, uh, as recent as uh, American Transgender um, in three parts. <clears throat> Sorry about the commercials, guys. What can I say? I get lazy when it comes to uploading videos. Um, I upload them basically as raw as they get, I guess, um, you know, but I at least spare you guys the commercials, at least not, you're not watching a full commercial, I at least fast forward through the darn thing, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just glad you guys are enjoying those, um, I even, uh, caught a small, uh, glimpse of, um, of, uh, a lawyer that I know here in Central Ohio, um, that, um, you know, uh, a local, you know, television and local news company did a 10 TV, uh, threw that out there. It's about maybe five minutes long or something like that. Um, um, Tara talked about her struggles and apparently she's still having, um, or her dad still struggling with the fact that, uh, you know, Tara's transgender. Uh, she's, you know, she's a trans woman, just like myself. Um, and, um, she came out right, right about the same time you know, th three, three or four years ago, but, um, excuse me, sorry about that, I'm a pig, um, but, um, it's important to get those kind of messages out there, um, only because of the fact that, uh, a, a lot of us have already been through this, and a lot of you have not been through this, um, and that, that's the part that I'm really wanting to stress, is that, uh, guys, when you do do this, when you do come out, it's it's not going to be easy, guys. Um, you think that uh, you think that your family is going to immediately be right in your corner, um, unless you're one of the very very rare and fortunate ones. Your parents, it, it wouldn't phase them at all. It all depends on the kind of relationship you had with your parents when you were growing up, and your siblings as well. <clears throat> Now, on the other hand, if um, if you grew up with um, parents who said racist things, or if they said things like "Oh, all all gays and fags should die," it would probably not be a good idea to come out um, while you're still living at home. Um, because if you do, you'll probably be you'll probably be on the street. That's just the reality of it, guys. Um, even when it comes to their own children. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have seen the comments on some of these, some of these stories or uh, an article in a newspaper, or not necessarily a newspaper, who reads the damn newspaper anymore, we all read the news on the internet, <clears throat> but I'm sure you've seen some of the nasty comments such as, you know, if my son or my daughter ever came out as gay, I'd kill them, you know, or kill them and then kick them out of the house or kick them out of the house, you know, and whatever, you know, just really violent stuff. But, um, you know, guys, it's, it's the reality of life, you know, and you can't always expect everyone to be there for you. You can't expect to have the same friends. Um, but anyway, um, I'm kind of running out of ideas of things to talk about. Um, I don't, I don't know. I can go back through all my videos and see what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about. Um, some of the uploads that I've done from, you know, um, own, you know, Oprah Winfrey Network or Dr. Phil, uh, not really my favorite, but I, I do understand it. You know, Dr. McGraw doesn't know everything there is to know about gender identity and that I really do hope he gets a little bit more education on, on that subject, you know, so that way he can kind of, kind of relate to, to what they're going through. And, um, um, yeah, there was another video that I uh, that I posted about a transgender child uh, uh, becoming Jackie um, somewhere here in Ohio. They didn't specify, which I understand they wouldn't want to. You know, we're talking about a child here. You got to protect them. But uh, um, the therapist in there, um, Morale Crane, great woman, excellent woman. I have all the love for that woman. She's she's my therapist. I haven't seen her for some time. Um, but I know she's there when I need her, you know, she actually helped me come out at work, you know, she even offered to talk to, uh, 
talk to my coworkers. And um, but I already had another psychologist filling in. He just happened to be this company psychologist who um, did have some conversations with uh, with Morale. So, um, you know, speaking of which, that was like almost three years ago, this guy. Three years ago. I've been out. At the end of this month, it'll be three years. I, ca I can't believe it. The time has just gone by so fast. Uh, some people have changed at work. Some people have not. Can't expect everybody to change, guys, just because you have. It's just not going to happen. Again, let's face some reality. Um, the people that, that, that really... I'm not going to say they admire who you are or what you're doing, but the people who respect you, who respected you as, let's say a man, for example, and um, they're going to respect you as a woman as well. Some of them, not all of them, you know. Um, I've got a couple of real good friends um, at work, um, Kevin. Um, Kevin is very open-minded. Um, I've talked to him. I can talk to Kevin about anything. And my most recent uh, recent friend is uh, one of my coworkers, Shay. Shay, love you, girl. Man, we can talk about some crazy stuff. And, you know, it's just been such a long time for me to be able to, to just talk to someone. You know, just be myself, let loose, you know. And she says I'm, you know, she actually paid me a real good compliment. She said, you're like, you're like the, the bestest friend a girl can ha I have. I'm like, well, I'm like, well. You ever want to know anything about guys? I said, let me know because I have I have a ton of knowledge, you know, from a personal perspective, having to grow up as a guy and having four brothers. Um, I love my brothers to death, but man, I'll tell you, there's some horned dogs. But anyway, um, women can be the same way too. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not just harping on guys. Women can be exactly the same way. But um, yeah, I need some ideas, guys. Um, I, I would really appreciate your help because. I'm at a loss at what else to possibly talk about. If you have, um, yes, ideas of uh, something you may have missed, uh, an, a documentary, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Um, I can usually pretty much get my hands on anything. So, um, oh, God, I can't believe I said that. Well, it's just like a relationship problem sort of thing that I've been having. Um, I, I don't know. Just recently I had to change my Facebook status, uh, my relationship status to like, you know, in a relationship because I'm basically getting tired of being hit on by, you know, everything that's out there, man, woman, boy, girl. No, I'm talking at least guys, come on. I'm talking at least 19 to 20 years old. Um, so I, I just get tired of it, you know, and what it comes down to is they, they all basically just want sex, and I'm. I don't get me wrong. I love sex, but I am. I'm not a whore. I'm not a slut. You know. Anyway, um, I don't know. So I had to change that. You know, first thing my daughter, um, uh, I am to me the very next morning was, "Who are you in a relationship with?" I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa," <laughs> you know. But you know, my daughter, my daughter's concerned about me, my personal happiness, my relationships. Um, and my kids know that I'm not going to bring anybody around them who I haven't already run a background check on for one. Um, and you know, that, um, that pretty much already has a family, knows how to, how to act around kids and, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, enough of that, enough of that bull crap. Um, ideas, guys, I need ideas. Um, uh, certain documentary you may be looking for, uh, a movie. Um, I still want to do, um, gosh, I'm trying to, now, now I can't, I honestly can't remember the name of it. Um, oh, I'll show you, hold on. Okay, this one. Say it. She's a boy. Um, good documentary by Gwen, Gwen Hallworth out of Canada. Uh, she's a boy I knew. This is a, it's pretty, pretty tough. This, this is pretty, a pretty hard movie to swallow. Um, almost go, goes along the lines as the man I knew. Um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll get that one up there for you guys. I, I gotta I gotta get a working uh, DVD player or um, maybe just you know use my son's Xbox or something and um, you know I don't know how I'm gonna be able to split it up maybe um, I don't know as long as I can 20 minutes 30 minutes um, I don't know the YouTube uh, sent me a message saying that you know I can do videos longer than 15 minutes I don't know if that means I can do an hour video um, a lot of you girls out there who are the same, you know, predicament or situation as me, let me know. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to sit there and, you know, work on something, uploading, you know, trying to upload something that's an hour long that's going to get rejected by YouTube just because of the fact that it's too long. So I really don't know how that works. So you guys have to let me know. Um, anyway, I want you guys to, um, to have a great weekend. Today's only Tuesday. But I want you guys to have a great weekend. Mother's Day's coming up. Um... You guys better, you know, call your mothers, see your mothers if you can. If you can't, send them a card. Uh, but at, at least, guys, call your mother. You know, uh, I'm sure she would appreciate that probably more than a card. Um, but anyway, um, I want you guys to have a great weekend and uh, send me send me some of those ideas and suggestions. And um, I'll be looking forward to them. And again, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.